welcome to the NFT Meta Jungle. I am Emma, aka Nifty Meta Girl, and on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing some of the photographs and photographers that we are currently featuring in an in real life exhibit in Venice, Italy. Um, so to give you a little bit more information, um, Meta Jungle is sponsoring a in real life exhibit in conjunction with Super Chief at the uh, Venice Benali art exhibit happening now in Venice, Italy. And this will take place for the entire month of November. So very excited to be able to feature this exhibit that we have titled Discovering Photography in Web three. And in this exhibit, we are highlighting 98 photographs and 90 different photographers that are active here in the Web3 space. And we have carefully curated this exhibit to include um, up and coming artists and world famous artists that have entered their work into the, on, that have minted their work onto the blockchain and in turn entered into the NFT or Web3 space. Um, this is a collection that myself and Alpha Trilogy have curated from his um, collected photographs over the last 15 months. This time we are highlighting just a small portion of the photographs and photographers that he has collected from, but we're definitely hoping that this is the very beginning of this um, opportunity to highlight artists by showing their work in physical spaces. Um, so we have really enjoyed this process of being able to highlight um, photography and also look forward to opportunities to share more, um, to hopefully share our passion with photography for others and help other collectors come in to this NFT space and see what is so special about photography um, entering, to, entering onto the blockchain. Um, this is series seven of our 12 part series. Um, and we're doing this to be able to kind of give a deep dive into the artists and the pieces that we selected for the curation of this exhibit um, to be able to help others kind of learn about these artists and hopefully be able to have additional information as they're connecting with particular pieces. Um, throughout our exhibit, we've featured multiple genres of photography and even more sub-genres of photography. Um, this particular set is going to further um, display different cityscapes, which falls right along with our last episode, which is featuring street photography, cityscapes, and streetscapes. Um, and this is a genre that um, I believe Alpha Trilogy and I both really enjoy. Um, we both connect a lot with emotive pieces, but also storytelling pieces. And that's something that is so common um, with street photography. Something that a lot of street photographers share is that love for capturing unique moments and being able to capture a story. Um, and in this particular series, we are exploring some of those subgenres and also some of the special um, things that we have seen in the Web3 space um, and really that that, that excitement coming into this um, into this kind of new realm, this art renaissance, some people have referred to it as, um, and being able to highlight some of these exciting um, these exciting subgenres. And one of those um, is two of the pieces included in this particular set are going to kind of pay homage to that. Um, and today we're going to talk about eight photographers and eight different photographs, um, and these are from the seven set of photographs that will be shown during the In Real Life exhibit. Um, the way that's working is there's 12 different scenes that are going to be shown for about 30 seconds apiece during the six minute rotation. Um, for about the first 10 seconds, the image is shown without any information and then the artist's name and the description for or the title of the piece does show up on the image. So we've really tried also to um, exhibit each of the pieces in their native form Format, but also give homage to the or give credit to the artist and to also let the viewer see what the title of the image is as well. Um, but like I mentioned, there have been some um, different um, kind of maybe trends is probably not the best word for it, but some different um, perspectives shared within the, one, the Web3 space. And one of those um, is captured by this very talented and adventurous artist, Natalie M. Rosie, who is also known as Miss Hatton, and she is nicknamed the Queen of the Sky by Huffington Post. Uh, Miss Hatton blends her love for travel 
travel with exciting aerial perspectives to create inspiring shots that invoke sensory experiences. Um, it is said that after juggling her passion for photography and her career, career for finance, she left her corporate job to dedicate herself to travel and art full time. Since making the leap, Miss Hatton has traversed the globe, captivating her followers with a portfolio of images that inspire an intense desire for travel while showcasing the serenity that can be found in adrenaline-inducing perspectives. <laughs> and that is very well said. Um, the particular piece that we are including in this exhibit um, is from her Flight Club, an aerial experience by Miss Hatton Collection, which is an ongoing photography series dedicated to the love of aerial perspectives and exciting destinations from an open door helicopter. And um, as we can see in this image, we see uh, Miss Hatton's legs and feet dangling out of a helicopter um, way, way, way above the cityscape and is capturing um, a very, very unique and interesting aspect of the city. Um, definitely one that for those that are nervous about heights will make your stomach turn, but is a really, really beautiful and um, emotion evoking image. Um, it is said it is included with this particular piece, which is Flight Club at number 28. As the engine roars and the cold wind brushes against your face, you can instantly feel your heart beat at an exponential rate. The moment you look out the doorless helicopter, everything turns to silence. You can't help but stare into the breathtaking views and feel a sense of serenity cutting through an intense adrenaline rush. While creating fine art photos for private collectors as an aerial photographer for over eight years, I've gathered images from all over the world, dangling my feet over incredible skylines. And so this is absolutely an incredible piece um, and very exciting to learn more about what Miss Hatton does and her very unique um, style of photography. Um, and Alpha has said about this, hanging out of a helicopter to get the perfect shot requires a very special level of passion. Natalie was a pioneer of the feet dangle and aerial photography revolution. Evolution. So very, um, very excited to include this piece within the exhibit and also excited to know Miss Manhattan. Um, she is very um, well known in the social media sphere as well. So definitely check her out on Instagram and follow along on her adventures. Um, she is really an amazing artist and someone that is a force in the space. Now, our next piece um, is um, created by a astrophotographer named Mustafa Aden, and Mustafa has been really active within the Meta Jungle community and someone that has been really a joy to get to know. He has a very interesting background, but in the arena of photography, it comes quite naturally. Um, he is a third generation photographer, and he is also um, hoping to pass this along to his young children as well. So we'll see if there is yet another to carry on. Um, he oftentimes is um, keeping up with his toddler who is tuning in to all the things that are happening here in the Twitter sphere and also in the Web3 space. So it will be great for him to come into this education early. Um, but for Mustafa, um, he was again born and raised in a photographer family. And um, he also has um, a very diverse background. Um, he has studied physics engineering um, and has a real love for science, cosmos, and technology. Um, he's had a number of photos published in national science magazines, and several of those photos have been selected um, as the astrophotography of the week, month, or day international for international platforms. Um, one photograph was shortlisted in the most prestigious astrophotography contest called the Astronomy Photographer of the Year by the Royal Museums in Greenwich, and that happened in 2020 in the Aurora category. Um, several of his photographs have been exhibited at the Gokman Science and Aviation Training Center in Barusa, Turkey. And in 2020, Aiden was able to photograph the comet Neowise with the rare bicolor bi red and blue ion tails. Now, um, 
Aiden is definitely passionate about astrophotography and he has a love for sharing that passion with the community. Um, I have learned so much about astrophotography since knowing him and coming into the space, um, but he is um, definitely a pro in this arena. Um, the particular piece that we have selected um, for this series is from his Space Ape collection and it's called Love for Cosmos Space Heart. Um, and he includes in the description, the heart nebula is in the Perseus arm of our galaxy in the constellation of Cassiopeia and is some 7,500 light years away. It is an emotion nebula glowing ionized hydrogen atoms giving its red color and has darker dusty lanes. And as you can tell, his passion shines through um, in his work, and he loves sharing this information and knowledge with us. Um, Alpha Trilogy's quote for this particular piece is, Deep space astrophotography is underrated genre with tremendous collector opportunity. This photo, one of my favorites, seemed appropriate, placed between two aerial photos which required massive cojones to take. And um, this has been a really interesting um, piece that Alpha Trilogy has added to his collection, and he has a great fondness for it, um, for, for the piece and for Aiden. Um, but really happy to be able to highlight astrophotography within this collection and can't wait to see where Aiden and the genre go in the future. Now, our next photographer that we're featuring in this particular set is probably one of the youngest photographers that we are including in the exhibit. Um, his name is Ben Scar, and Ben is only 18 years old, um, but he is a photographer and videographer based out of Massachusetts. Um, he recently actually moved to New York City to begin going to college, um, but his home is Massachusetts. Um, and when he's not in school, he's actually out camping um, and enjoying everything our beautiful planet has to offer. Offer. Um, in 2020, Ben was actually recognized as, a as the Youth photo Travel Photographer of the Year, which is a very cool uh, recognition to receive. Um, and this particular piece is, is from his series called Above It All by Ben Scar, and the actual title is Above It All number 12. Um, and very much like Miss Manhattan, you can tell Ben is dangling out over a beautiful cityscape. You can see his legs and his feet dangling there showing off his, um, his courage. Um, but then the collection description, he says, above it all is my body of work dedicated to showcasing the city of Boston from unusual perspectives. Urban exploration has allowed me to access vantage points of my city very little people have been able to before. This exclusivity leads to a truly unmatched feeling as you look over everything below. Documenting Boston from above is something I'll be eternally grateful for. There is something incredible and humbling about viewing civilization from these high places, above all the commotion and the pandemonium you feel disconnected almost. My hope that is when you look through these images, you can feel the freedom this passion of mine has given me. I want you to feel the wind whipping through your hair, the span between you and the ground below, and most importantly, I want you to feel what it is like to be above it all. So Ben has done a great job of explaining um, and evoking emotion through his words um, for the image that he has captured here. And Alpha has said Ben is a phenom in the, in the photography space. His passion and courage are contagious. Um, and meeting Ben in real life, um, he definitely has a contagiously um, optimistic and excited personality. So can't wait to see um, where this, this young photographer goes. Um, and our next um, photographer that we have included in this particular set is a multifaceted photographer and video creator based out of Los Angeles, California. His name is Alex Kwan. And this particular beautiful piece that we have, in have included um, is entitled The Rainbow Bridge. And it is from his Alex Kwan Creative Evolutions collection of 51 unique adventures series. Um, and I just absolutely love the capture of light in this image, whether it be the sedentary light on the bridge that is illuminating in the background, the lights in the, in the tall skyscrapers in the foreground, in the very background, and then this capture of motion happening in the foreground. It just has such a great energy to it. Um, and he has described, Alex has described the collection as um, 
a series of creative digital photographic compositions from various cities across the world in three years, an expansion of his, orig his origin story through a phase of exploration, experimentation, and creative growth in the pursuit of something greater. In addition to learning more about the world and himself, this collection of photographs showcases, showcases the often unseen progression in the process of developing intention and creative com confidence behind the photograph and the artist. And in the photo description, Alex says that this incredible landmark in Busan, South, this is an incredible landmark in Busan, South Korea. I hunted for this angle using only reference images on Google Maps and some creative exploration in order to get a good enough vantage point to get this incredible perspective. So love being able to travel along um, with Alex on his quest for capturing these beautiful, beautiful moments. Um, and Alpha Trilogy has said, after I collected this photo, Alex sent me an incredible behind the scenes video from the moments after he took it. His excitement was palatable and I will never forget it. And yet another example of that opportunity in this Web3 space to be able to connect with the people um, behind the images and understand their passion at such another level. So really appreciate that and love including this beautiful piece. Um, and our next, um, our next artist is another artist who enjoys capturing cityscapes um, and being able to evoke emotion um, by these amazing locations. Um, but Tyler's Journey is a visual storyteller from Toronto, and he specializes in intimate street photography. Um, we, we have seen a lot of work from Tyler's Journey in the NFT space, and he is able to really emote his um, artistic perspective in a lot of different different formats. Um, the particular piece that we um, included for this series um, in this curated set of cityscapes is from his Toronto Icon series, and it's entitled um, Number Six, Toronto in 2077. Um, and a cool thing about Tyler's work, oftentimes we kind of see this cyberpunk type um, personality shining through, and that's kind of influence in the work that he creates. He's also a photo, another photographer that loves capturing cityscapes from high levels and you know getting gaining that perspective um, of being above it all. But in the actual description for this particular photograph, Tyler says, epic futuristic view of Yonge and Dondas Square at night in Toronto of 2077. Reaching this rooftop to overlook Toronto's Yonge and, and Dundas Square and all the people and all the people was a legendary moment in my life. This was a very windy night, which caused these clouds to push through the scene and create an amazing long exposure, pushing the limits of what we can be pushing the limits of what can be created in the city of Toronto through my passion for urban exploration, my surroundings, creativity, and drive. Um, but yes, yeah, this piece is absolutely beautiful. I also love how the light is shining in the clouds, um, and it just really does make us think about what the future holds. And Alpha Trilogy has said, Tyler is massively talented and equally unpredictable, which makes for um, a very exciting combination. And um, Tyler recently has participated in several different photography curation projects and um, has something new coming out all the time. So one to watch in the space. Now, the next artist that we have included um, has also um, created this beautiful, beautiful cityscape. The light is absolutely beautiful. Um, but Trey Ratcliffe is an artist on a mission to help spread consciousness and mindfulness to the world through his photography and creativity. Um, he actually runs the number one travel photography blog in the world, stuckincustoms.com, and it has, which has taken him to all seven continents over the past decade, and Google has tracked more than 140 billion views of his photos, all while building a social media presence with over 5 million followers, which is very incredible. Um, and you can see why this is just one of the many, many examples of the beautiful images that Trey captured throughout his journeys. Um, and this collection is very well titled Beautiful Cities of the World. This is number 19, Golem. And he simply says this is one of the 50 cities featured in the Trey Ratcliffe OpenSea exclusive Beautiful Cities of the World drop. And this is a beautiful um, 
image captured here. I love how the mountains are in the background and how the vibrant city is there in the foreground. Um, it just makes you want to visit this location and explore. Um, and about this image, Alpha Trilogy notes that this photo is an edition of three, and it is actually the only image in the collection that is not a one of one. But he says it was just too magical to leave out. So again, a beautiful image and a little ode to the additions that we see within the NFT space. Now, the next um, piece that we are including are going, is going to transport us um, across the globe to London. And this is captured by Emery Sargal, who is also known as Turquoise. And he is a self-taught London-based photographer, but is able to capture these beautiful, beautiful cityscapes that emote emotion that he is trying to convey. Um, I've really loved seeing the work that, um, that Emery is creating and also his voice in the space. Um, but this particular piece is from a collection called A London Thing, and it's entitled Ours Isn't a Perfect World. It's downtown. But Emery has his way of really creating beautiful, beautiful colorscapes within his cityscapes and really using emotion to convey, using, using color to convey emotions. Oftentimes you see blue used throughout his work. Um, so it creates this really um, great environment that really does lend itself to the London, the London landscape. Um, and have, again, have enjoyed um, the work that Emery creates. Um, in this particular, this particular collection, um, it captures nine moments in the city, and the curation features what he feels best represents the essence of the capital or London. Um, you can tell, you can feel um, Emery's passion for the city shine through the work that he creates, um, and oftentimes there is a cinematic quality to his work. For this, um, he also says that this collection is curated to depict everyday life in London and the emotions people are going through. I want to connect with the daily struggles, hopes, fears, and desires of people across the city. And it also represents his personal growth as a self-taught photographer from South London. And it is the city through his eyes. And Alpha said, I love experiencing London the way Emery sees it. And his viewpoint does shine through. And with seeing his viewpoint, you can understand why he enjoys it so much and finds so many beautiful moments to capture. And with this particular piece, um, it does really set the tone. Um, you just would like to be there on the street, walking along and enjoying this view as well. And our next photographer that we are including, which is our last photographer for this particular set, um, is Ryan Millier. And um, Ryan is a creative di director based in New York City. Um, Ryan drew, grew up in Toronto, Canada, and has became and began his creative journey taking photographs on his iPhone 4, roaming around Toronto, exploring different vantage points. But you fast forward several years, and Ryan is now living in New York City, creating imagery and videos for the world's biggest companies. And this is Ryan's second drop um, in the NFT space, his second collection. Um, um, but this is a really beautiful image and one that you can see um, captures some of the energy and beauty of New York City. Um, this was a really fun collection um, to watch drop. He did this, he actually delayed it a little bit and it dropped late summer of 2020. Um, but all the images, what they did have in common throughout this series was they all showed beautiful shots of New York City. Um, and Alpha has said that the Made for New York billboard and warehouse in the foreground ground counterbalance the deceptive glitter in the remainder of the photo, which is such an interesting detail to, um, to connect with. Now, the title for this collection is probably something by Ryan Milner, and it is entitled, the particular piece is entitled probably something number nine made for this. And um, so that ties in that quote from Alpha Trilogy about the Made for New York billboard um, and is a really cool detail to see there in the foreground of this particular piece. And um, Ryan says about this collection, it's easy to look at someone's success as being overnight. Once you've made it in your field, everyone praises you. 
However, what about the journey getting there? When other people's doubts seem to pull you off course, living in New York, it feels like every, even the city is against you when you're amongst the noise and the chaos. But what breaks some makes others. And if you succumb to the criticism and doubt, you'll never persevere and break through. When others see nothing, some of us see, see something. Probably something is a love story with New York City, showcasing imagery that Ryan has captured over six years of living here. The city that gave him the challenge and therefore opportunity to thrive as a photographer and a creative. The collection consists of 44 one of one NFTs that represents Ryan's breakthrough as a photographer. So very exciting to have this moment of his photography journey um, depicted in such a beautiful way, but also minted onto the blockchain so it will be there forever. And the sentiment that is described here um, is also something that can be conveyed to the NFT space that so many feel as well as we are building something new and exploring a whole new realm. Um, oftentimes it can feel overwhelming. We hear that sentiment within the space, but also such a great reminder that um, building something that is worthwhile does take time and it is hard work, but if we stick to it, beautiful, beautiful things will come out of it. So um, really hope that you enjoyed learning more about the photographs that are included in this series um, of the In Real Life exhibit happening right now in Venice, Italy. Again, this was highlighting eight photographs and eight photographers that are a part of our full exhibit, um, which includes 98 photographs and 90 photographers and all of these pieces have been collected by Alpha Trilogy. And um, we do hope that you um, have enjoyed learning about each of these. This is series, this is episode seven of this series. So we have five more episodes to go as we're highlighting each of the scenes that will be rotating through this in real life exhibit for the entire month of November. Um, but blue, please do like and subscribe to our channel so you can continue learning more about other photography within the NFT space. Also join us on our social media channels. You can reach us at um, Meta Jungle NFT on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and of course here on YouTube. And join us on Discord. You can find the link for our Discord community within our bio um, on Twitter, which is at MetaJungleNFT. Again, I am Emma, aka Nifty Meta Girl. Enjoy you spending the time with me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time.